Hey, it's um, Alice Nation here again. It's like the first time in ages. Not ages. I made a video. Um, I really forgot one to make Gabriella's on Thursday. Um, Tuesday, I'm sorry. Today's Thursday. It's just been hell out here. Like, literally. So, um, I got a new Living Dead doll yesterday. I paid $100 for her. I didn't get her off of eBay, though. So, her box is bent on the front, and I got a maggot. So, um, her box is bent. That's why she was 100. She would have been 150. But I got my money. I paid it all with my birthday money and everything. So, um. This is Maggot. Oh shoot, I hate it when my computer when my computer does it. So this is Maggot. She's from series 11 and she is laid to rest. So she's really hard to find and I'm glad I have her. I'm sorry, her hair is so soft. And unlike Gabriella and Ghana, who like, their arms are really jerky, she, she has easy arms to move. So. I'm not going to do it. And if you tilt it like this, she looks like something from Small World. So, um, I, I love her hair. It's sort of wavy. Like a Ghana's. It has a wave. I thought it was curlier since most people in the 40s had curls, but wavy is fine. So, really have to take care of her. She's a really detailed doll. She's got um, red around her eyes and the boils like everywhere. She has them on her foot, on both of her feet actually. And even in her neck, like when you turn this up, you can even see more boils. She is a series 11 doll so she can move her arms and her legs. Series 10 and up. I don't. I have to be careful if I get kitty. So, so her clipboard poem says, um, "Shoot, maggot spreading her disease of infected boils and pus. This sad little maggot is really quite contagious. I think she's cute. Not sad. She does have a sad face though. Um, I can't put this on my binder because it has a bad word. So." Let me read it to you. I hereby that sometime in 1946, Maggot has been pronounced legally deceased. Adorable little Maggot was the rent of the litter. Eyes of empty black, a peculiar little critter. Then one day she was infected with a disease unknown to men. Blistering boils and oozing pus. Her cracker, crankerous soul, no, her cankerous soul now damned. <laughs> so, um... My friend ditched me yesterday, so I had to wait for her to come alone. So that's not very nice. So I called my friend later, and then we were talking. And then she told me that um, she just makes a connection between the unwilling donor and Maggot, and I don't know why. I make more of a connection with Purdy and Maggot. So her eyes are, like, really huge, and they're black. And I like the white. She looks so sad, but so adorable at the same time. So she has black eyebrows, and she's painted eyelashes on. She's my first doll with painted eyelashes on. She's my first light to rest one, too. So she has um, her little sailor black dress with white. She has two bows, white bows on her hair to hold her pigtails. Her shoes are kind of loose, though, both of them. But they're the typical um, Living Dead doll Mary Janes, which my other doll, Agana, comes with. She's right here. And um, she's very detailed. Her hair is dark, as usual. And she's just really cute. Her dress is quite simple. She doesn't come with any accessories. 
But she does have two holes on her hands. On each of her hands. Well, one hole, but you know what I mean. She has one hole on each of her hands, so that equals two holes. <laughs> I was doing math yesterday, so I just couldn't understand it, so. So this is Maka, and she has red lips, and her nose is really cute. I don't know why the red is around. It's just like um, the black plague type of thing, because I've heard of that. Anyway, um, that's my review for Maggot, and um, hopefully I'll get Kitty. Wish me luck.